this is what Josh is doing. And my hair and makeup. Yeah, just having some dinner right now. Anyway. And welcome to my channel or welcome back if you have been subscribed my name is Natalie and today my video is spending a typical day with me doing work influencer things etc so let's get right into it Oh my gosh <laughs> that was so hard <sighs> wow so I just got done with my cycle class and I'm not really someone who loves cardio at all like my experience with working out I would so much rather push myself in strength type of things so cardio is not my jam but I need cardio it's so important so I go to a 30 minute cycle class and give it my all and it is so hard but then when I leave and especially doing it early in the morning I'm so glad that I did it but yeah that was rough so now I'm going back to the house it's almost eight o'clock right now so yeah it's still pretty early but that's what I'm up to I just got back and this is what Josh is doing watering the children our children and that's the first time you ever said they are ours. <laughs> so, anyway, that is what Josh is up to. He also went to a morning workout, but we do not go together, sadly. So now I'm going to decide if I want to make a green smoothie and then hop in the shower and then make breakfast, but that kind of seems like a lot, so I might just hop in the shower and then make breakfast. What do you think, Josh? I think that I would love breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> So it looks like I'm making breakfast. Something came in the mail for you. What? Whatever these are. Oh, some new jewelry. Cool. Okay, I just got out of the shower. I can't take myself seriously in this. I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. Anyway, the products that I use when I'm in the shower is the Olaplex shampoo and conditioner, and I'm gonna have to buy new shampoo because I'm almost out. My face wash I use morning and night. This is just the CeraVe foaming one. I've used this for years. And then the body wash is this Necessaire one, which I have their exfoliator, their body wash, and then their lotion. And I feel like I've already used so much. I think I still have a discount code with them, so I'll leave it in the description if I do. But this is the eucalyptus scent, and it smells like clean, essential oils so I love using this that's what I use when I'm in the shower and then when I get out I have a lot of products as well I don't brush my hair after the shower I brush it before and then when I put my conditioner in I use a comb and comb it out and right when I get out I use the Olaplex bond smoother and I just put this in like so just squeeze out some rub it together in my hands and kind of scrunch it in and then make sure to get these front pieces because they feel like they're the most damaged. Usually next I'll spray in a little bit of this WAG leave-in conditioner. And then I have some other products that I use but I try to use that when my hair is a little bit more damp and less like soaking wet right after the shower. So this is what I use like right out. As for my body, I use this on my bikini line. It's like an ingrown hair serum that I got from the wax place I go to, European Wax Center. And I just use this either once or twice a day. For body lotion, I have the Necessaire fragrance-free one. So they have the eucalyptus scent, but I did fragrance-free for now. I'm kind of excited to try the eucalyptus one though because I really do enjoy that. And then on my face, my skincare is a little bit more simple than my nighttime routine. I just use this Elta MD moisturizer and the Drunk Elephant Drop. I am obsessed with the Drunk Elephant Drops. They give you a nice glow if you're not looking for much, but I just mix them with whatever my day moisturizer is. I'm actually almost out but I already bought a new package because 
I didn't want to be without them. So I just mix those together and use it. But if you have those no makeup days, then this is so nice because like I said, it gives you a little bit of color and glow. And then most important, my deodorant I use is the Love and Beauty. Um, this is in the lavender scent. I've used other natural deodorants and I really didn't like how they worked, but I found that this one works really well. So I'm going to finish my skincare routine, do all of those things, and then it is breakfast time. cooking show like this. So basically every day we use our griddle. I love a griddle because you only have one dish to wash. I do avocado toast, Josh does normal toast, we have bacon and eggs. I just feel like when I have a good breakfast, my whole day is so good. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. I seasoned my avocado toast with everything bagel seasoning and red pepper flakes, which is a moment. Oh, I have to do my BOTD. Okay, so we are going to eat breakfast, but yeah, this is like a typical day of what we make. Okay, we have finished up breakfast, and now it is coffee time. I pretty much always use this mug, and then we put it in the dishwasher at night, and I use it again the next day, so I have lots of mugs, but this is my favorite. I almost always use my Nespresso, and my favorite pods are the Starbucks dark green ones. I'm not sure which coffee it is, but it's like the seven ounce one. Would you recommend creamer? Oh yeah. So yeah, they just look like this. So I'm going to make my coffee now. And then for my creamer, I have the Nespresso frother. So I just pour some of, I just pour some of my oat milk, oatmeal cookie creamer, shake it up. <clears throat> Pour a little bit. I still want it to taste like coffee, so I like to do just a little, and then I froth it up while my coffee is, I just try to screw this onto that. And see. We finished up with our devotion and I'm still working on my coffee. I was cleaning. You don't take my sneeze from me. Oh, I stole your sneeze. I was, I'm gonna crop it out anyway, but that was really mean. <laughs> I'm sorry, baby. Right about now I do my post of the day and some different stories and then I start working through my email maybe get on Pinterest to get inspired a little bit so this can take anywhere from like half an hour to a couple of hours so I think it'll be quick today then I'm planning on getting ready and doing my hair and makeup and going to be taking some pictures that I'm really excited about all right, I have moved into the office and it's like an hour and a half later. I answer emails and I make selections and I do invoicing and budget and all of that stuff, which I don't know, I think is kind of fun. So that's what I'm gonna be doing for maybe the next hour and then get ready to take some pictures. And I was going to style my hair today because I wanted big voluminous curls, but I'm kind of sad because I feel like my natural hair came out kind of wavy, but still not the vision I'm going for. Frequently during my work day, I call Greta, so let's see if she'll answer. And she probably won't, so Greta, if you're seeing this, answer. Okay, I know I already said this, but I'm really digging my hair. The way salt spray that I've been using, I really like it. Anyway. In a very interesting turn of events, our apartment complex, they were having free pub subs. So Josh and I now have lunch for the day. Um, we probably were gonna make sandwiches anyway, so this just worked out. Credit to Anna, because now I have this raspberry lemonade from Publix. So it is a fully Publix lunch, and 
That is what we're having for our lunch. We are now going to watch our show, Lost. We are on season five, so we kind of powered through it. I'm very excited to continue watching our show because it's gotten really good, but I don't want it to end, so. I'm ready for it to end. It's been a, it's been an investment. It's been two months that we've been watching this. Yeah, but I feel like I've really enjoyed watching it, and what are we gonna watch next? There's so many things to watch. That we both agree on? Ted Lasso. I actually do wanna see that. We just finished up with lunch, and now I'm going to do my makeup and hair because it is going to be time to take pictures and make TikToks. All right, I did my hair and makeup, and then I have on this dress that I'm taking pictures in, so I'll do a full outfit of the day when we are taking pictures. Well, the spot that I had initially planned, I didn't calculate that we came quite a bit earlier, so it's fully sunny, and I don't usually like to take pictures where it's fully sunny. Also, this heat, I am sweating. Natalie power walking to her next location. It's a view I do enjoy. <sighs> I had a little thing on my shoe. What do you have to say? Really hot. What do you look for in a good picture taking spot? I like it to be shaded but sunny outside because, yeah, so see, sunny outside and um, we are in the shade. Sometimes I like a full sun photo for a certain thing, but it has to be pretty specific. That's what I look for in a good picture spot, and I'm just not finding that anywhere. The dress is from Shop Maddox, and then the boots are from Lintervale and the purse is from Vogel. So we came back to the house for a little bit because we just were waiting for the lighting to get better and in the meantime, I filmed a Grey Bandit TikTok and haul, but we are headed out again. I did my hair a little bit differently and hoping that the lighting is better, so I will share these photos. Hopefully we can get good ones, but yeah, that's what we're up to. We are back. The spot looks like it does have good lighting, so you have really been along with the journey with me today, but fingers crossed that we will get our cute photos and let's go. Yay! It's so good. We are back home and I'm going to change into comfy clothes, pick up the house, but it is five o'clock now so I'm going to check on my to-do list and just make sure I got everything done that I wanted to today. And yeah, it's time to get comfy. Basically the rest of the evening I picked up a few things at the grocery store and now we're having dinner which is turkey burgers, sweet potato fries, and some pasta salad. And, and Josh's little Cheez-Its. So, <laughs> We do a lot of chicken, rice, mashed potatoes type of thing, or I don't know. We just switch it up, but yeah, just having some dinner right now. So I just washed my makeup off, but I recorded a little TikTok first because I don't know why, but makeup just always hits different for me at the end of the day, and I never want to take it off when I'm wearing it. My skincare routine for the night. So I wash my face with the same CeraVe moisturizer, and then I use the Ordinary not focusing on it. The Ordinary Neosinamide Cleanser, or no, just Neosinamide Serum, like so. Um, this helps with scarring, but I have noticed a difference in the scarring on my cheeks since I've been using this, and I wanna say for that big bottle, it was like 14 bucks, so it's pretty affordable. And then for moisturizers, I switch it up quite frequently. I have three that I like. The first is the Tula 24-7 Moisture. I really like this. It's very hydrating. Then the Drunk Elephant Proteiny Moisturizer. Very thick and hydrating. This is like most intense moisture. And then the CeraVe. This one is like 12 bucks on Amazon. I use this most frequently just because it's very lightweight, whereas the other are more for that moisture. But I'm gonna go with the Tula because I like that it's an in-between one. The next step is my eye cream. And I've been searching for a good eye cream for a long time. I started using the Kiehl's Creamy Eye Treatment and with avocado. 
I'm almost out of it. It's like down at the end of the jar. And I can't say that I've noticed like too much of a difference, honestly, in my under eye. So maybe it's just that it is hard to tell and it's more preventative thing, but I'm not really sure. I just dabbed this on with either my pinky or my ring finger, trying to be gentle. And then last, but certainly not least, my lash serum from Babe Lash. I have never really truly used a serum before this one on my eyelashes and I really have seen a difference. It's only been like a week and a half or two weeks, but I feel like, honestly, I should show this in better lighting, but I've always liked my eyelashes. I just feel like they got thicker in areas that were sparse. So I'll have to give more of an update once I've used it for a little bit longer because like I said, I don't have like too much of an update now, but I just get it near my lash line and try not to get it in my eyes because it doesn't burn as much as just having something unless it's water and honestly even water kind of irritates when it gets in your eye. So that is my full skincare routine before I go to bed. Then I brush my teeth and I floss, which I used to be bad at flossing and I'm getting better. Um, but yeah, that's kind of what I do before I go to bed. It is only 8.30 right now. So yeah, but Josh gets up to go to his workout at 4.20 in the morning. So we kind of get to bed pretty early around here and I really like to watch Lost, our show, before we go to bed. So if I don't go to bed with him, then we don't get to watch it. So I'm gonna brush my teeth and then put on my PJs. Oh.